Hi, my name is Andre, and welcome at yourguitarworkshop.com. Um, what I just played was the main theme in um, Classical Gas, and this is not Mason Williams' original arrangement, but one made by Tommy Emanuel. I did the first video, I did the, uh, the intro for this version, and if you want to know which version exactly I'm covering here, then you should definitely follow the link in the description. Uh, or the link to the full lesson, even though it's not a full lesson yet, it will become one once I've done all these, uh, all these tutorials. If you want to support these lessons and tabs, then go to patreon.com slash your guitar workshop, and uh, you can uh, support me there as well. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? So the first section goes like this. One two, three, four. Some more. So you start off with A sus two. So that's basically A minor without the index finger. And you play A and B string together with thumb and middle finger. And then you make a hammer with your index finger in first position of the B. Then you play D, G, then open A, then open B, open A, and then first position B again. Like this. And like I said, the first one is with thumb and middle finger, then thumb, index finger, thumb, middle finger, thumb, index finger, uh, sorry, also middle finger. Then you play with the thumb, open E, and then that first position you play on the B, but immediately play uh, a pull off like this. So you get. Then you get the following part. So what I do is ring finger third position of low E, play it, then D, G with down, down, up. Same picking for the next one with middle finger in two. And then I do two down strokes, one open E, and then second position D. So those two bars together, three, four. Then we get the following part. So what do you play? Uh, you play uh, open B with your middle finger. Then second position, G, index finger, pull off, then put it on again, play it, like this. Then you play open E, open B with middle finger, then second position, D, play that with your thumb, and then play second position, G, and first position, B, with index finger and middle finger like this. So now we have that A minor. Then you play open A with your thumb, then D and G open. Play that with index finger and middle finger, so hammer on, and you do that again. And then you play open A, and then second position uh, G with your index finger. Like this. So those two bars together. Three, four. That's almost the same as the first two bars. There's a couple of differences. So you start off with A minor. You play uh, A and B string together with thumb and middle finger. Make a pull off with your index finger, 
then thumb and index finger play D and G. Then you play open B, open A, and then first position B. And that's, so the first one is thumb and middle finger, then thumb and index finger, then middle finger, thumb, middle finger. Then you play open E with your thumb, play B again with your middle finger, and make a pull off. It's like this. Then we get uh, the next bar, which is exactly the same as bar number two, so that's. All right, now for the next part. And you play it like this, three, four. So what do you do? Um, you start off with um, index finger in first position of B, and when you play it, immediately make a pull off, so like this. So it's super short. Then middle finger, second position G, play that with your index finger, pull off, then second position again, play it, then open E, and then you play down, up, down, up on an E minor chord, so. And then you play A minor. So like this, three, four. Then you continue playing chords, but now they're plucked, so that's using thumb, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. So that's, uh, so the, sec uh, the first one of the next bar is G with B in the bass, so that's pinky in third on B and middle finger in second of A. And you play uh, A, D, G, and B, thumb, index, middle, ring. Then index, uh, sorry, uh, C chord is next. You play A, G, B, and E. And if you sort of, you can with your index finger even strum that D string if you want, right? Just pull across it flat. Then you get F with um, like a small F, but then with also fretting the low E in first position with your thumb. If you can do it, just play that small F. Then you get D chord with F sharp in the bass, so that's thumb fretting second position of low E. Then we get E7, sorry, then we get G, so that's just pinky in third uh, of E, ring finger in third of low E. And then you play E7, so that's the top four strings, pinky in four, middle finger in three, ring finger in four, index finger in second. Then we get uh, F sharp diminish, so that's pinky in five of high E, middle finger in four, ring finger in five, index finger in four, so that's in consecutive strings. And then you play the same shape, but then two frets up the neck, right? And those are all placed on the offbeat, so one and two and three and four and. So like this, three, four. And those are the first, actually not uh, eight, but first nine bars, right? So let's play those first nine together. Three, four. to the next section and that goes like this three four <laughs> so 
So what do you do? Um, you have an A minor chord in fifth position. So that is pinky in eight of high E, then uh, index finger in five on B, G, and then ring finger is in seven of the D. And you play. Thumb plays open A, then ring finger plays E, middle finger B, index finger G. So you play that first chord. Then you just play the top three strings and put your index, uh, pinky sorry, in seventh. Then remove pinky, so index finger uh, fretting also fifth position, high E, so. Then you play B, G, and D with ring, middle, and index, and pinky is now in eighth position of that B string. Then open A, and then I keep the same chord, but I now I play E, B, and G. So like this, three, four, Then I move my pinky to seventh position of that B. And then I play bass, open A, then third position A, and then slide up and just into nothingness. So then I play open A again. Then with my index finger, I play G string. I have my index finger fretting second position of that G string. Then third second to open on A. And that's all with thumb. And a little bit palm muted. So like this, three, four. Then you play the same chord thing, so. And then you get So that's playing uh, that seventh position in on B. Uh, that's still on the four end of the previous bar. So you play uh, B, G, and D with index, middle, and ring. Bass, so open A. Then that chord again. So I, and then play the bass twice. Play the chord again. And then play the bass three times. Like this. So the second time is three, four. Then the third time you play the same chord, uh, chord riff. So. And then you go to a D7 chord. What I do is you sort of play a, a, a rasgado, which is a, a flamenco technique. So you play a, sort of a pinky, place the strings, then ring finger, then middle finger, and then index finger. So. And you could even add the thumb to that. And you just. Then you have an upstroke. And then you play the bass. So that fifth position twice. So. And then you play the bass once more. And then you get. So, and then we get the next part. That D7, by the way, that I talked about, because it didn't say how you play that. So that's index finger in fifth position as a bar uh, on A to top E, and then pinky in seventh of B and ring finger in uh, seventh of D. Then we get the following part.
So what do you play? You start off with playing open E, bass, to middle finger, second position to ring finger, third, like. And together with that ring finger, you, start, you play a G chord, so you have your pinky and third as well on top E, and there you play E, B, and G string with ring, middle, and index finger. Now you play D string, G, with your thumb. Then you play C chord, and you play uh, thumb plays A, and then ring finger, middle finger, and index finger play E, B, and G. And you play the D string twice, so like this. Then play F chord, small F chord, and you play D, G, B, and E, and then you play the D twice more. Then play B flat major seven, which is pinky and third of B, middle finger and second of G, ring finger and third of D, and index finger and first of A. So, and there you play. So you first you pluck the string, so that's thumb, index, middle, and ring on A, D, G, and B. Play the uh, bass once more with your thumb. Then with an upstroke, play the chord, and then you play second position of that A string. So you turn that B flat uh, major seven into a B half diminished, like this. Then you get an arpeggio, so you keep this chord and you have open E, and you play E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B. Then you play a bass line that's open A to third position E to first position E to E7 chord. So that's sort of your E chord and then pinky and third of B. So you got And then after that E7 chord you get that arpeggio again so you play uh, E B G and then B and E together with an upstroke play the E string twice open and then you play E7 So like this, from that B flat major seven, three, four. Now that part together, here we go. One, two, three. All right, that percussive thing wasn't correct. So after this uh, part, we have a to get that right. What do you do? It, it's not. It, it doesn't have to be super accurate as long as the rhythm is correct, right? So what you do is you hold your hands, muting the strings. So the left hand as far up the neck as you can, and just rake the strings from E to E. Then, with your right hand, tap the body of the guitar, so... Then, just slap the strings with your left hand of the, uh, on the guitar, so like this. Then, I tap the, the strings with my right hand twice, and do the tap also with my left hand after that and that should be it, so like this. And then I get my downstroke for the next uh, A section. All right, now together, uh, starting on that A minor chord. Three, four.
something like that, something like that. Next video, I will be going into the second theme. I don't have the time for that today. So next video, I'll go into the second part of the theme where there is a bunch of variations, the, you know, the harmonics. Um, if you use the tab, if you know this, the first section, then you'll probably be fine. You don't, maybe don't really need it. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna go into a different video and then we'll go into the other sections as well. All right. Wishing you a great week, and that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to, don't forget to support at Patreon.